Hi there, my name is Adria Richards and you probably have heard of me by now if you've heard anything about the Norm Coleman database leak. It was me who found it. So uh, yesterday I got a thousand people to my site. Today it's already top two thousand. People are reading uh, the blog post, they're commenting. Uh, some people are like, Adria, that's really great you did that. Other people are like, how could you? What is wrong with you? Some other people are kind of out there and I have not approved their comments. Um, so I've taken this all with a grain of salt and stuck by the guns that it's really important to make people aware of security problems because we're having too much identity theft these days. People need to have their data remain safe. Um, I just checked my inbox and I have a comment here from E. Nelson at uh, Slick Rock Web. I was so impressed with this that I am going to go ahead and read it, turn it into a YouTube video. If you haven't already seen my YouTube video, uh, it's two minutes and it tells you how I got access to Norm Coleman's database with using only a browser. But I'm going to go ahead and read E. Nelson's uh, note here. Get into okay. I couldn't take it anymore. After reading all the ignorant comments attacking Adria, I am a fellow IT consultant and I deal with security issues every day. I see hackers scanning my clients' sites every day looking for potential openings and exploits. These hackers are using untraceable zombie networks all over the world. Then we see that they are Chinese hackers, they are Romanian hackers, and yes, many preteen U.S. hackers. Just because Bob and the rest of the computer illiterate posters have no clue about technology does not mean that anyone else should remain as clueless as they are. The fact of the matter is, as an IT consultant responsible for my client's web technology and any sensitive information associated with their websites, I absolutely want an Adria to point out something like this as quickly as possible so that I can act on it rather than having multiple gigantic security holes remain exposed for weeks with hundreds of untraceable IP connections downloading the information. All of these security breaches can easily be found automatically with internet scanners very similar to what Google uses to index the entire internet. I hate to break this to you Bob but I can almost guarantee you that there are Chinese and Eastern European hackers that have had this information well before Adria found it. And if you think they're going to call up Norm, let me know because I have some oceanfront property in Iowa for him and you. The fact of the matter is that Norm Coleman and the people working for him are either completely incompetent or blatantly negligent. Adria was not the first person to alert Norm Coleman campaign to the potential problems, yet they continued to ignore their duties to A, fix the problem, B, alert the donors uh, to their mistake, C, take the damn site down. It takes two minutes to do this until you can figure out what the problem is. Instead, the Coleman campaign claimed their site was hacked but for political reasons, claimed that they contacted the Secret Service to investigate, and who then, unbelievably and incorrectly, said that no sensitive information had been leaked out. So the question should be, Bob, as a donor, would you not want Norm or someone else to alert you to the fact that your credit card information had most assuredly fallen into the hands of international hackers? And with that, E. Nelson, thank you very much, and that's why I'm turning this into a YouTube video. Thank you.